For this tutorial, I will show you how to ask the user for their age in years, and then we will convert it to the number of hours old they are, which will likely be a pretty big number. To begin, we can go under events and select the when the green flag is clicked. We're going to need a few variables for this. Because we're asking the user for their number of years, they are, we will have a variable called number of years. So I called my num years. We'll have a number of variable, another variable for the number of hours, since we're going to be converting the years to hours. We also need to have uh, two variables that will be the conversion factors. First, we're going to convert the number of years they've been alive to days. Then we're going to convert the number of hours they've been alive from the number of days to the number of hours. So we're going to have one called years to days. So I'll, I'll use a short form. So years to days conversion factor. So I've called mine years to days conv, C-O-N-V factor. And then we're going to go from days to hours. So days to hours con factor, days to hours conversion factor. When you're programming, you always give your variables an initial value. So the number of years, I'm going to start off as zero. So under data, select set. And then you can just duplicate those blocks and we're going to change the number of hours to zero because we're going to get that information from the user. The years to days conversion factor is 365 because we have 365 days in one year. And we'll do the same thing for days to hours conversion factor. There are 24 hours in one day. So what you're going to be doing is multiplying the number of years they are by 365 and then by 24, and that will give you the number of hours they've been alive for. Under sensing, we're going to ask the user for information now. So select the ask block and ask the user how many years old did they turn on their last birthday. And the reason I'm going to ask them how many years old they just turned on their last birthday is because I'm going to also give them the number of hours they were on their last birthday. That way we can avoid asking them a question about months or having them answer the question like uh, they might be 10 and a half years old, so 10 years and six months. We're just going to forget about the months to make this program a little simpler. So how many years old did they turn? Or we better say, did you? <laughs> Since we're talking to the user, how many years old did you turn on your last birthday? You need the answer block as well. Now you can, under data, go to set, and we will set the number of years to the user's answer. So now when they answer that question, if they say 13, for example, 13 will be stored in the variable called number of years. Now we can do some calculations. So we're going to set a number of hours equal to, and we need to, as I said earlier, multiply some numbers together. We're going to need two multiply blocks since we're going to be multiplying three numbers all together. So I just joined them. So what we're going to do is take the number of years entered by the user and multiply it by 365, so years to days conversion factor, and also by 24, so days to hours conversion factor. The reason I used variables rather than the numbers in the calculation is it makes it more obvious, and we can see what is happening in the calculation. We can then output that to the user. So under looks, you will go to say, and you will say, Oh, we're going to need some join blocks as well because we're going to put more than one thing in the speech bubble. Oops. So on 
to your last birthday, you turned. So in the next little space, we'll go to data and select number of hours. Since that now holds the number of hours old they were on their last birthday. Space. So I have an extra join box. I'm just going to cut that and paste it in there. Got a little carried away with my join operators. So let's just double check on your last birthday you turned. I put a space in there so the number of hours is not right against that D. Put another space after old on your last birthday. I'm actually going to say hours. So you can see as I adjust my code as I go. So we'll go ahead and run our program. You can see that my variables are set at the beginning. So number of years starts off as zero, number of hours starts out as zero, and that makes sense because we haven't gotten any information from the user yet. And then the years to days conversion factor was 365, days to hours conversion factor was 24. So what we did is we considered that there's 365 days in a year. So we have to multiply by 365, and then once we knew the number of days, we can multiply by 24 since there are 24 hours in a year. How many years old did you turn on your last birthday? Well, let's say I'm 25 years old. On your last birthday, you turned. That was a little bit quick for me, so I'm going to put that to four seconds instead. So 25 years old. On your last birthday, you turned 219,000 hours old. And I just noticed I used the word last birthday two times. So I'm debugging here. So on your last birthday, you turned blank number of hours old. There we go.